that you were on the road and then go right into sermon. So the extreme bonding just really kind of helped you guys. Yeah, we've well, I mean, obviously teams at Hawaii have longer road trips and our guys, I've said, we've had success on the road over the years. We try to flip the script on that and versus making it a stigma about Hawaii teams. Um, part of it, we travel well, bringing a lot of great guys and um, obviously you get a little more time with them. Uh, we eat a lot of meals together. We do a lot of team events together and it's a great group to travel with. Um, so looking forward to this trip. I mean, we've obviously been, the other part of this is we've played several tournaments. We've been to Vegas already for our non-conference game. Uh, know our way around here. Uh, but obviously at the end of the day, it's got, it comes down to our, our prep work and these three days before we play. It makes it a little easier on the prep work, right? Since you played this team twice before, or does it make it tougher? Uh, I think it's both. It's a great challenge. You know, I said before, like, there's nothing like league play when you guys asked me as we entered conference play, the familiarity. Um, there, and then there's the second time around, even more familiarity, especially when you have a lot of continuity among staffs and, um, you know, players have played against each other uh, before and things like that. And then the third time around, this one's very unique because, and I don't think this will ever happen again, rarely will you play a team who has played one game over the last two weeks. And I know that was circumstance. I'm sure they would have loved to have played. It was a very unique situation for everybody in our league to have some games postponed. But um, so you're there, you know, you're preparing best you can for what you might see. And obviously, you know, they haven't played. They played one game over two weeks. So there's some wrinkles. You normally see third time, second time around over off the games you've played them in the past, and especially they've had, you know, an extra week or so. But you know, um, in that regard, it, it makes it a great challenge as well. Yeah, because you and Dietrich seem to have really great chess <clears throat> matches against each other. Well, we have a lot. I've said this. I have a lot of respect for our league yeah. and the coaches in our league. And when I say continuity, I mean, I've been here eight years. He's been there 10. Um, there have been great battles and a lot of respect there for sure. Everybody, uh, everybody's been talking about, you know, the, the whole two weeks off for them. For you, do you see that as, a, as an advantage that you've got that continuous play? You're coming in off of games from last week. Do you see the advantage in that? Well, everything's mindset, right? And so you have to look at it as a positive for you. Um, at the same time, you can't put too much time into and, and out um, smart yourself. You know, at the end of the day, it'll still come down to, you know, what is it kind of us first? You know, we, we had a tough stretch, um, recharge the batteries, which I feel like we've done. They get back to work, clean up things that were exposed recently and then prepare for a really good game against a team that's a really good team and a good program. and. Uh, present different challenges and, and that's where with, with all the outside noise which is the two weeks and we played and they did and there's advantages and disadvantages to everything you just gotta lock into what's important which is our prep work start with us and then go from there we talked with uh, commissioner butterly mm -hmm. yesterday and he said you know the, the league isn't as basketball wise as good a shape as it's ever been with you know teams and the net rating and yeah. you know however many teams with 20 plus wins um how, how would you echo that or feel about you know, the strength of this league going into the conference championships? Well, I had a lot of respect from the league from afar and then coming into this league I think our my first year we had four top 100 teams if I recall us Irvine Santa Barbara and Long Beach State four top 100 teams and then obviously like everybody navigating COVID and, and some of the rule changes and things like that and then to come back this year you know, have what seven top 150 teams, um, and even I, I think we obviously some of the teams that are perceived on the bottom, they've had some really close games. We've had we have I said before we have a lot of uh, respect for every team in our league. There've been a lot of good battles, and there's a lot of different coaches of the years. I mean, you got Rod Barnes over at Bakersfield and Trent Johnson at CSUN. So. A lot of respect for our league, and, and hopefully this is a step in the right direction. We can build off it. All right, Moore, how ready are you for your uh, first Big West tournament? I'm, yeah, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to go, to be honest with you. So they beat our twice. I'm ready to go. Any nerves? I have to, take, I have to take this home. Any nerves? Nope. I'm ready to go right now. We have to do this, yeah. All right, last, last question. What are you... What have you, um, what's your biggest memory of this season so far? Uh, probably senior, senior night. That was a good one. Senior night, that was fun. Nice. Yeah, that's the, that's the best memory that I have, you know. That's my youngin' right here, man. Yes, take sir. care of him. Yes, sir.